Jimmy Quillen? Yes, Mr. Yes. President, nice to see you again. Yes. You look the best I've seen you in a long time. Well, thank you. And did a much. tremendously good job. Thank thank you. I'm proud of you, and I'm with you on the front row. God bless you. I'd like to introduce you to the key. Hello, Mr. Chairman of the Republican Party in Clark County. It's one of my best counties. And Johnny Holder, Congressional Steve's in Clark County. Nice to see you. Both of them are fine Republicans and do a great job. I'm proud of them. They have yes, they have some pictures to present to you and then some autographs to like to have. With your permission, I'll let you all have them. This is one for your, we thought maybe you'd like this for your branch. That's an old type of way. Yeah, and I'm an amateur photographer, and that's yes. one of my best jobs. Yeah. There's another amateur photographer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. He's, he's maybe a little yeah. past that. They, they watched me take that picture right there. Oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> well, that's my picture. That's, that's a cover bridge, bridge in that same uh, one. Uh, in uh, uh, in Carter County. Spans Elizabeth. the Doe River, yeah. and uh, Elizabeth and I go across it every morning on the way to work. That's a good shot. That's a rock yes. throw from where we were. Johnny is a great photographer. Well, and it has a description of them on the back. And here's some autographs. All right. I'll take these to this and do them but first before we do that. Why don't we get these two oh, let's, warriors for us in between us and have a good picture here? Well, all right. So, uh, now why don't you both get in here? We're the, we're the ones you've yes, got. Okay. So we'll flank you. Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. One more. Thank right. you. They were wondering if it would be possible to have an individual picture with you. Certainly. Great. Right. Yes. Great. Right. Could you move this in here? Well, thank you. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now I will just sign these and just take a second here. Howard already signed. It's right up at the top. Yeah, why don't you sign first? Either way you want to do it. <laughs> You'll have to explain that then. <laughs> Picture over there. That really is. That's a nice shot. 
Mr. President, I've got a meeting. I'm going to leave you now, and I'll see you later on. Okay. All Jim, right. It's nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you, Mr. President. Pleasure. Oh, we have a lot of the Mr. President, you're looking good. Thank you, sir. Great job in your speech the other night on TV. And uh, we're proud of the job you've done around the country. The one of the things we're proud of for our area, we're, we're part of the Bible Belt. And there's many prayers that up on your behalf. Many know that. Thank you. The leadership of the African American people. Right. Gentlemen, right My son's right. 18 and I'm just 8 years old. He's a member of the Just Saying Well. He preferred Nancy over you just a little bit. If you could have Nancy sign it for the bill, I'd appreciate it. And when you have Nancy, would you like to make it on it? A bigger one, please. That'd be okay. Now, when you come to Tennessee, I want to see this pin on. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Guys, okay. Mr. President, Congressman John Rowland. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Excellent job the other night. Well, thank you very much. Excellent job. My wife, Debbie. Mrs. R.J. and Mrs. Kirsten. What did you want to say, what did you want to, say to your, your favorite president? Hello, Mr. President, you were going to say. All right. I thought she was going to tell me that you're going to vote for Contra Hay. You bet. <laughs> That's easy. Why don't you get in here? Okay. Thank you. All right. And there. There we go. Christy, look at the, look at the camera. I've been talking about the president all day today. You were going to say, hello, Mr. President, weren't you? I knew you'd check him out. John, why don't you now introduce Ruth? Okay. okay. Yes. Hello to you. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> President. Mr. Ruth Rabbits from Ireland. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. This is the Voss family who we, we've kept together uh, yes. 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 special yes. legislation. Yes. Yes. Mr. President, Mr. We're going to do a family photo here with the congressman and the boss family now. Well, all right. We got them all. Let's see how we're going to get into the middle somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Christian. You can say goodbye, Mr. President. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Bye -bye. Hey, thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you, sir? Say hello to Hazrat Khan. Hello there. Well, it's nice to meet you. Why don't you get in the middle here? Here we go, Haz. Picture taken. Great. Terrific. Smile. Look up and smile, Haas. <laughs> All right. Great. Well. Haas, Ryan has a little message for you, Mr. President. Uh, well, I'm from Afghanistan and I got hurt by the Soviet bombing. They killed my mother and they killed my family and they, we almost lost one million people. And so I'm here to give you the message, you know, to keep supporting the Afghan people, you know. We don't, will. You know, don't ever give up and, you know, make, trying to, don't allow the Gorbachev get you down, you know. <laughs> you have a couple things you want to give the President, Hasra? Yes, I want to give you some <clears throat> bump want, sticker. Yeah, well, here's a bumper sticker. We all want to hold this up here. Right, Haz? Right. Free Afghanistan. And this coin. Now, tell them about the coin, Hasra. Uh, the coin is from, from Afghanistan, and they're going to sell it, trying to make money. 
So you will be the first one to take it. You're the first one to get one. Well, thank you very much. And we've also got a letter for you from a whole group of our colleagues urging us to make sure that they, we don't back off and in fact provide more aid to the Mujahideen until the Soviets have actually withdrawn. That's, well, you can depend on that. And that's and we're trying very hard. In fact, this morning, you might be interested to know that I had in here and met with a Soviet soldier, a young man who had deserted the Soviet army and gone over and for three years was fighting with the Mujahideen. And, uh, and now he, he is, uh, we brought him here and we're still trying to get more of them out, but there are a number of them that couldn't, they couldn't support what they were being asked to do. Exactly. There, we had a group of those POWs, they actually are testified before our task force on Afghanistan. Hazrat testified the same day. You remember those prisoners yes. of war? Yes, I remember. Who were with us. And we've met a number of them. And that's right. They desperately want to join us. Well, I thank you for these things. Okay. And thank you for this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very honored to see you. Nice to see you, President. Thank you again, Mr. President. And enjoyed very much the other evening. You were spectacular. And Hazrat thank watched you. it on TV. Okay. Well. He's been on the House floor several times. He's had the chance to become, many people have called him our mascot. On the Republican side of the aisle, he joins me because he's still 12 years old. He can come down there when votes are on. Yeah, and good. he says hello to all of our colleagues. And we've even taken him to the Democratic cloakroom where he buoys up a few of those people. <laughs> you keep that up. That's totally <laughs> <true. laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the Reserve Officers Association, a crowded group over there at the Hilton, and I thought you might be pleased to know that they are all overwhelmingly in support of our going forward. <laughs> 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 well, listen, I appreciate your coming down here and letting us review this situation a little bit. I'm not going to take too much time here and, uh, uh, in talking about the actual details of what we've sent up there to the Hill today and what our thinking is, but well, a little on that. But uh, you know that in the recent meeting in San Jose that some of the other presidents uh, in Central America were a little less than enthused and didn't think that the promises of the, uh, of the uh, Nicaraguans, the Sandinistas, Mr. Ortega were uh, very forthcoming and as if we weren't home free on the Guatemala peace agreement. And we feel very definitely that First of all, they've only gone as far as they have because of the presence of the freedom fighters, the pressure that they can exert, and that if we're to get a successful, peaceful settlement and a ceasefire and so forth, it's going to come as a result of the pressure exerted by the freedom fighters. But I'm going to let George now give you an update on the situation. Mr. President, I think it's well to take a little perspective and remind ourselves there, Costa Rica. And now, as a result of the efforts that have been made, there's also Honduras and El Salvador and Guatemala that have elected civilian presidents. That has happened in spite of the fact that five or six or so years ago, it was commonly thought Central America is gone, Nicaragua is a communist base, they are going to take over everything, and that has been totally turned around. We have had from the beginning a policy of wanting peace with freedom and democracy and widely shared economic development, and it's also been very clear that uh, the Soviet Union's presence there is bad for us. So we want to keep that out. But the best way to keep it... You just get in this near seat right there. Right here? Yes. All right, President Doug Bernal. Right. And why don't you take the one across the way? Thank you, Mr. Roro. I use the nice seat. Richard Ramos going down. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
Secretary has uh, some people up in the, his office that he's got to meet with. Uh, they happen to be some of the Freedom Fighters representatives, so uh, I'm going to call on him first just for you know, words on this thing that we've sent up to all of you. The thing that strikes me most strongly about this is what you learn by a little perspective. Six years or so ago in Central America, the general opinion was that with the communists in Nicaragua and the insurgencies all over the ever since, that what we now have <coughs> is elected civilian presidents, not only in Costa Rica, but El Salvador, in Honduras, and Guatemala. We have a peace plan agreed on by all five countries in Guatemala City last summer. We have the four Central American democracies seeing a little common cause. And a week and a half ago in San Jose saying to the Nicaraguan president, you, you aren't living up to what you agreed to. Get with it. And we see these things brought about by this strategy. And the strategy is one of saying, we're for peace, 